Well, look, look, a couple of weeks ago, we, as you know, rolled out a property crime initiative in Albuquerque with the help of our public safety uh, professionals. Uh, we came up with a multi-point plan on how we're going to combat property crime. And a big part of that plan is working with our allies in public safety, working with other government agencies at different levels, at the federal level, at the state level, and other municipalities as well. And uh, today we have a shining example of, of what collaboration looks like uh, for public safety. And I'm pleased to announce to you today that with the help of the United States Marshal's Office and our, our U.S. Marshal, Mr. Gordon Eden, that Michael Candelaria has been taken into custody this morning. As you know, Michael Candelaria was the first property crime offender that we featured on our electronic billboards. Uh, his face was up all over Albuquerque. He was featured in two Albuquerque Journal advertisements as part of the property crime initiative that we announced, announced last month. And uh, today, this is what the billboard will look like if you uh, drive around town. It's going to have the word captured over the picture of Mr. Candelaria. And this is a very positive thing uh, for the city of Albuquerque. Uh, Mr. Candelaria was our top property crime offender. He is a four-time convicted felon. He was on probation and was awaiting, awaiting trial on two different cases when APD discovered that he was involved in another identity theft ring and issued a warrant for his arrest last month. Um, he has been booked into jail 29 times. Prior to his arrest, he led police on pursuits three different occasions. Um, Michael Candelaria has learned that through collaboration with, uh, with other uh, government agencies and other public safety professionals that Albuquerque indeed is becoming a very bad place to be a criminal. And uh, let this be a lesson to the other criminals out there. Uh, there's a lot of folks, uh, citizens, public safety at all multiple, you know, multiple jurisdictional levels that are out there and we're on the lookout for you and we want you off the streets. Uh, the U.S. Marshal's Office, State Probation and Parole, and the United States Secret Service all got involved, and together they arrested um, Candelaria this morning. So it was the U.S. Marshal's Service uh, that made the arrest this morning. I'd like to introduce uh, U.S. Marshal Gordon Eden to say a few words on this and uh, to say thank you for the thank you for all you're doing. So please, please sure. give us some more details if you would. Sure. Um, Last Friday, we were contacted by the Albuquerque Police Department gang unit and uh, was asked to assist them in locating uh, Michael Candelaria. Uh, Michael Candelaria is well known to law enforcement, not only in Albuquerque, but in the adjoining jurisdictions because of his long felony records. As uh, the mayor stated, he's been arrested 29 times, and each time he seems to become progressively worse when it comes to his conduct when uh, law enforcement encounters him. This morning, early this morning at about 1.30, uh, that came to light in even uh, a harsher matter. As the mayor alluded to, uh, the Albuquerque Police Department had been involved in three pursuits with Candelaria. Um, and I think a lot of the public and even our judges believe that he's just a property crime offender. Well, he's not just a property crime offender. When anytime somebody leads the police in a chase, not once, not twice, but three times, puts everybody in this city in harm's way. This morning, <clears throat> uh, based on surveillance that uh, began uh, yesterday early, and after almost 27 hours of surveillance, Michael Candelaria exited a residence here in Albuquerque and was approached by deputies uh, from the United States Marshal Service Fugitive Task Force. And let me say, when I say deputies, the people that are assigned to our task force, whether they're from the Albuquerque Police Department or from the New Mexico State Probation, they're sworn in as Deputy United States Marshals, therefore they are federal law enforcement officers. When they approached Candelaria, he immediate, immediately tried to elude and evade arrest to the point where he squared off in a boxing manner with the deputies who were trying to arrest him. They in, engaged him, he continued to resist arrest and ended up having to be tasered. Um, so that kind of tells you a little bit about this individual and the threat that he really does pose to our community. So whenever you hear somebody say, hey, it's just a property crime offender, be well aware of the fact that people like Michael Candelaria still put our people, our friends, 
in danger as long as they're out on the streets. And we want to thank uh, you, Ray Schultz, for uh, participating with our Fugitive Task Force, the Albuquerque Police Department, and the New Mexico Department of Corrections State Probation uh, for the first members of our Fugitive Task Force in 2002. And since then, we're arresting about 300 people a month. And it's only because we're able to have such active participation with all these different law enforcement agencies that we're able to make those accomplishments. So the three deputies, there, there's three, right? I counted you right, that actually made the arrest are over here, and uh, they'll be available for interview at a later time. So, uh, Mr. Marshall, would you do me the honor of crossing them off our, off our, Most off our, off our plaque, please? I would appreciate that. So, so you know, this it's just it's just this is what it looks like when we collaborate to get criminals off the street. Um, we need the help of everybody. We need the help of, of law enforcement, multi-jurisdictional law enforcement. We need help from the court systems, from our prosecutors. We need help from our legislators with tough laws to get criminals off the street. Uh, we need treatment options for people with drug problems. We understand that this is, this is not a one-sided equation. It's got to be all of us working together against criminal activity. So uh, to everybody, I say thank you, and uh, we'll be happy to answer any questions if anybody has any, and I could bring up anybody that, that, that uh, could answer these questions if you have any. Is there going to be a reward offer that led to the arrest of Kendall Murray? Was there, is there any way that? Chief, you want to talk about that at all? Actually, since we participated in the task force, we're not going to give uh, Gordon any any reward. But, uh, uh, one, we're just really glad to get him in custody, and we were hoping to have the detective who's been working the most recent case against uh, Michael Candelaria here. Unfortunately, he's in grand jury as we speak. Could you give him the name? But uh, sure. it, uh, Detective Tyrone Chambers. But uh, Michael Candelaria, in the most recent case, uh, we've got three pages of victims, and these are hardworking folks in the city that he has been able to get about sixty thousand dollars worth of property from uh, by stealing their identity so uh, we're glad to get him in custody and we're sure there's going to even be more victims now that uh, he's been out uh, for the last couple of weeks but we're glad to have him in custody are there any other criminals that are linked to Candelaria that you guys are still looking for um i believe when uh Candelaria was taken into custody this morning there were some other individuals with him uh and there are uh, some additional people who are part of this latest identity theft ring that were already in custody. I believe there is still one person that's outstanding, but uh, I'm not ready to release that person's name yet.